So I was originally going to do something different for this one, but I was trying to prep stuff for that other one to like showcase different games like the classics that we're all used to. But in the process, as I was getting game data on to open BSD here, I figured out like there's some things that I'm missing because they're in Steam. And so I was looking around and I remember there was some Steam stuff in it. So if, <clears throat> so you can see like, it is my BSD one, open BSD one. So I can go and there, if I can spell right. So there's some programs in here that are for Steam specifically. And one of them is Steam CTL, which is kind of like, okay, that sounds like it might work and it works really well. So if I enter Steam CTL, gives us a list of the different commands that it has. You can log in as your user. <coughs> so you can interact with, oh, the Steam interface, basically without having Steam installed. And one of the things it lets you do is download files. So what I've done already is run the depot command to download stuff because that's how you download your files. If you want a list of apps and all, that's what the apps is for. So if I go Steam CTL apps, it'll give me all of these so I can activate a key, manage licenses, list the owned ones that I have, product info, or item definitions. And it does use um, Python Beautiful soup in order to parse some of that info. So let's go back to depot. And so it does have examples here for you to like see, okay, this is what I can do this, 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 and this. <clears throat> so you can see info on manifests and so on. And then download is kind of the big one. Compare diffs, decrypt, GID, whatever. But yeah, this is kind of where the only one that seems to be the one that lets you download is the depot one, which again is what's going on here. So I have basically listed out like different, oh, stuff from Doom 3 because that's what I was looking for was Doom 3 stuff. So if I go back up to here, somewhere in here, not there. There. So, uh, right in here, you can see that I put in like Steam CTL, whatever my username, and then it asks for your password, 2FA, and then I basically piped it into grep so that I could get just the ones that I wanted to look for. So you see I've got 208 200 there listed. It does give you a full list if you don't grep it, but um, yeah, it goes through all the DLC as well. So if you've got a long list of games and then DLC on top of it, it'll list a good bit of it for you. But yeah, so again, right here working is, oh, Doom, one of the Doom 3 depots downloading. So let's see, what was the other thing? So those are the two ones that I've gone through is Apps and Depot. Um, you can manage Authenticator stuff with it. You can do a lot of Steam stuff like Steam Cloud files and so on. Let's see, Web API Workshop. So you could make a script or a front end for this that would probably work pretty well with Steam. Um, holding on to tokens may be another issue that would have to be figured out otherwise. Let's see, but yeah, that for the most part is kind of like Steam, the download stuff. Um, I'm going to give it a minute to finish up here. Okay, so we've got the completed download here. And if we ls, we can go into... Three and then ls that. Ooh, nice. Okay, okay, okay. I think I can work with this. Well, let's see.
Okay, okay. Actually, yeah, this works. Um... I'm gonna switch file or directory. Oh, wait. How about dot local? Share. Doom 3. Okay. Remind me where I'm at. Dot dot. And then we want to MV base. home three and then we should be able to go What do you mean? That's what I'm missing, PK4s, dang it. Anyway, yeah. So, yeah, you can download stuff from Steam. I got, like, halfway through it, so, yeah. Um, but, yeah, Steam CTL seems to work pretty well. You've just got to figure out what depots are there. Um, it's done by Valve Python here, which is not in any way associated with Valve. They just make cool interfaces that let you interact with Steam. So you can do cool stuff. So you can control Steam from the terminal and so on. And it does work, again, it works with two-factor authentication. So if you're on something like this, it's a free way to download data so that you can actually play. Let me... Did I install this one? Oh, no, I didn't. So you can actually play stuff like... You know, the basics. If you enjoyed the video, then like, comment, subscribe, feed the algorithm, boost the video up, share this video with your friends. If you found it informative or you just want to chat, I've got plenty of places in the description, Discord, Gilded, and what have you. Check those out, and I will see you guys in the next one.